Fathers and mothers, it is our privilege and responsibility to teach and prepare our children with biblical priorities prior to a game, prior to practice, and after the game to review and celebrate evidences of godliness more than we celebrate displays of athletic skill. As parents, we must not assume that we have fulfilled our responsibility as a parent by simply attending the game and cheering. No, in in order to glorify God, we must teach and prepare and encourage our children to grow in godliness when they play sports. We must transfer biblical priorities to our children as they play sports. We must teach them and assist them in valuing godly character and growing in godly character as they play sports so that long after the game is concluded, long after the season is ended, there is discernible fruit in their lives from their participation. And as parents, we must we must parent them and prepare them with the final day in view, not the next game in view, not the impending season in view. The final day must inform our evaluation. And on that final day of divine examination and evaluation, there will not be a celebration of athletic achievement. No, the final day will be all about the gospel. And the final day for those who have turned from their sins and trusted in the Savior for the forgiveness of sins The final day for them will be about their lives examined in light of the gospel and as a result of the gospel and the effect of the gospel in their lives. Did you live a life worthy of the gospel? And we must prepare our children for that day. See, I want to prepare my children for the future. It's a future I won't see. But I want to prepare them for the future I will see that final day of examination and evaluation. 